All right, thank you, KJ. Coach, this was kind of a strange game given that unlike just about every game you've played in the last 10, 15 years, there really wasn't a ton at stake other than play for pride, play for a win. How did you motivate your guys because they really, uh, in the second half, they dominated Georgia Tech? Well, we did uh, better in the second. I thought I, I was a little disappointed the first half, especially with our offensive line and our runners. Runners started running more aggressively. Offensive line started blocking more physical. And then the defense, the first half, you can't complain. They only let one big play get out of there. And other than that, they just did good the first half. How are you going to remember the senior class? We just talked to Chris Hope. Uh, you know, this is the senior class that lost four games this year, but they played in three national title games before that. What are you going to remember about this group of 14? Well, they've, they've done a real good job under the circumstances. I don't know if you all knew it or not, but Bradley Jennings, we just found out right before the game he couldn't play. And he's our captain and the, really the backbone of this team. And we've had that kind of luck all year. And I was so glad that Jarrett Hudson came in and did a super job because he'll be the middle linebacker next year. I don't want to take away from the senior spotlight, but Chris Ricks wound up the ACC Rookie of the Year, had the best season for a freshman quarterback ever, uh, and, and really for a quarterback period, it was about the third or fourth best season that a Florida State quarterback's had. Well, he's, a, he's a, thank goodness, I'm so proud of him. He's got so much pride, and he's got so much, he's got so much more athletic ability than most of the quarter. We've always been a pure passing team, and he's a run our pass your team. He made some key runs for that night to help us in the game. You get Virginia Tech in the bowl game. Virginia Tech gave Miami all they wanted today. Miami won 26 to 24. That's a big challenge for you, and it's only unlike the past couple of years. It's only four weeks away now, so I guess your bowl practice schedule gets altered. But talk about that matchup. Yeah, we'll change our bowl schedule a little bit because instead of 44 days, we've only got 30. We won't have to practice probably as many times. Uh, but the bowl game with Virginia Tech, Virginia Tech's one of those teams you kind of hate to play because they're usually tough as heck. You know what? Just like they showed against Miami. And, I, and I'd like to congratulate Miami also, by the way. They've done, done a fantastic job down there. Uh, but uh, Virginia Tech will be, they'll, they'll be, I don't know if we can handle them. Well, Coach, uh, have a happy holiday season. We'll see you guys in Jacksonville. A win there would tie you with the Bears, so best of luck. Well, thank you very much, and we appreciate the wins, Walt. All right, congratulations, Coach.